don't know if you saw the lady at the counter. She just cleaned up. The lady at the front bought all of the video games. And there was some like boom, 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 boom. I don't know, but they're all great. We were literally seconds away. At least that's what I thought. Turns out that the lady was actually a staff member and she put these video games onto the shelf. The second I saw them, I had to snatch them up. I just put them over there. <laughs> oh. You seen me put them there. <laughs> I must have seen you put them there. I couldn't say no when I saw them. So that's a $40 game. Donkey Kong returns 25 to 30. That was how much? 20? 15? 15. So it's fairly cheap. Maybe maybe the worst of the bunch there. About 25, 30 for Mario Kart. That's dipped a little bit. It used to be $40. Yeah, it's, it's averaging about 40, I think. $200 worth of video games for just $21. That could not have been a better start to today's thrift trip. But here's our goal. We need a haul of 75 items to cover our eBay listings for the rest of this week. It's currently Wednesday, so over the next two days, I'm gonna to need to find another 68 items in the thrift to cover the rest of the week's eBay listings because I'm off to Melbourne for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for a Bucks party. Now, Courtney's gonna be listing up everything while I'm out in the trenches, so hopefully we can pull off this huge thrift trip goal and find what we need. Let's get back in there. Oh, that's a good hat. Yeah, yeah grab that. That's one. They're only $2, Courtney. Yeah. I reckon we do it. Oh yeah, that would. There's those. And there's also... One to the four. One, one to four. Yeah, look at this. Half price. What's the soles like? Yeah, a bit worn. Gonna have to, gonna have to leave them. Even at a dollar fifty. Nike Hyper Venoms for three dollars, but I'm just gonna say no based on what you're seeing in the heel there. Based on condition, Downton Abbey, one to six. It's actually, it's actually brand new. Oh, that's worth getting for ten then. If that's if that's pre-owned, one to six. Oh yes. I'm just going to do it. Look. Look at this. Good, thank you. Hey, how you doing? Here you go, Courtney. Thank you. We can still sell case only. Yeah. So we're definitely grabbing that. How much? That'll be a dollar each. Because I was telling them there's no disc. This is only $2. Two. That one went for 30 And that one went for 25 Yeah, right there. Yeah. Are all in there? Yeah. Well, for two dollars. Two dollars. That'll do some more stuff. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do those three, and we'll find out a price on this. Yeah, that's almost two dollars. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's four dollars. So we just found these two. What are we looking at for these, Courtney? It's about 15, that was about 17. 17. Yeah. So anything by Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, these are two of his series. So uh, we've got Cash Flow Quadrant there and we've got Sales Dogs. So um, yeah, really good author. The author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Very good book series to look out for. And they are only $2 each in here. We should be able to turn that into about 40. I've got these Pokemon thongs. Uh, we call them thongs here in Australia, guys. Um, brand new with tags though, and it's just the $5. So some Magikarp, I think that's Magikarp. Let me know if I'm wrong. But anything Pokemon, brand new, $5. That should turn into about 30, I'm guessing. Now I haven't seen jerseys in the thrift store for quite a while, so I was actually quite excited to see this one here. We've got a Liverpool jersey, it's a size large, at $7, and I deem this one to be genuine, which means it should go for about $50 on eBay. I found a bunch of DVDs actually that were sitting out the back. The owner of the store allowed these DVDs to come out for me to have a bit of a look. Uh, she's a viewer of the channel, so that was a really cool opportunity. Life on Land, David Attenborough, that was going for about 40. The Ben 10 that I just showed you guys previously as well, that was about 42. Hornblower goes for about $25. I found these as well, some Harry Potter books, and the good thing about this was that they were only a couple of dollars, but this one was a first edition, and that always goes for a few more bucks. So all in all, the start of this new day was a good one. Well, there we go, guys. We are underway to kick off this day, and I'm really excited about this. We've sort of just begun this day like we finished off yesterday. So I think with the Harry Potter books, I might do them individually just because one of them was a first edition. So I'm going to call that I'm going to call that two listings, 
And then we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've just picked up ten of the 55 listings that we need. Very big thank you to the guys at Vinnie's for getting us underway. Let's keep moving on. Now, I do have a slight problem with the plush toys. I can't seem to stop purchasing them. This one here, though, is a really good one. Crash Bandicoot, Nintendo game. Uh, this one was just $4 in store, so I picked that up. And how about this, though? In the glass cabinet, I've got a Nintendo Switch game. You never see Nintendo Switch games in thrift stores, so I've gone ahead and grabbed that. This is a really good surf brand, guys. Uh, the brand is Hang 10. If you're doing your clothing, look for this, because this is a vintage piece as well, made in Australia. Love the look of that. The price as well, just the $6 here in store. That should go on to sell for, well, some significant money. Well, there we go, guys. Another three added to the collection. How about that? You never see Nintendo Switch games in the thrift store for $6 as well. That was crazy. And then Hang 10 Vintage Shirt. Um, this should get about, oh, I don't know, maybe $50, won't it? So another three items. We're up to 13 It's been a really good day so far, but I think we've got one more store before we go back to Courtney. And Courtney's going to go ahead and list this up while we continue out shopping to find those 55 more. So far, so good. Just been scanning through this rack of DVDs right here, guys, and there's some good stuff and some not so good stuff. This first one, Bondi Rescue, season two. Some old school Bondi Rescue, just for $2 season for, uh, sorry, region four. That one's a good one there. And then this one here, I've sold this a number of times before. We've got Daria, the complete animated series. Just a $3 price tag on that one. But check this out. This is the worst thing I have ever seen in a thrift store. The Simpsons, season nine. $50. Are you kidding? Now here's a category that I wanted to start sourcing a little bit more. We've got the shoes here guys, and for good reason too, because they've already got on to sell for $50. They sold the other day. Uh, so that was a really good start to this little allocation. These Brooks as well, they're a good running shoe too. I've sold these a number of times before. Uh, the GTS Adrenaline series is a good one. So that was fantastic. These Adidas running shoes, look, they're not fantastic in the sense that probably only going to sell for about 35 40 but I did grab them. And the Predator footy boots, I thought that was a pretty decent price there. So I grabbed them. But have a look at this. Would you have bought this? I just think it was just so damn big. Um, $30 in store. You could probably sell it for some good money, but how are you going to ship it? That was my only concern. DVDs, just $2 a piece. Uh, just a really quick win here with rules of engagement. This one could sell for about $50, so I am missing season one there, but I, I did grab those for eight. This was a good one as well. I've spoken about this in a YouTube short. Sword Art Online sells for $8 here in store, but that was going for about $60 on, on eBay. And then some footy boots for $5 a piece, albeit kids' shoes, which I don't typically like to buy. Uh, but I had to say yes to those. Uh, Jamie Oliver, Five Ingredients, I sold that for $30, and then I grabbed these as well, Star Trek. Uh, there was a bunch of books here for Star Trek, so I just figured at $2 a piece, that might be a good little bundle that we could try and sell. Uh, this is Jimmy Butler's shoe in the NBA. Uh, I think it's Li Nang. Uh, it's a, a Chinese brand, but it um, sells really well. Some good comps on eBay, so I picked them up as well. All right, we're back. How have you been going with these listings? It looks like you've actually crushed it because you, you're working on that shoe and then you've only got these two left from that last run. Yeah. So I've just brought all of this back home, which is another 20 listings that we've just picked up in the second round. So is this whiteboard updated? No? Yeah. It is? Yeah. 15 today. Okay. So 15 for Thursday, which is today. That's done. And we're working now on how many into Friday? This is my third into Friday. Third into Friday. So 45 listings. 42 listings plus 22. That means I need 20 listings. Are you going to Southport now? I'm going to go to Southport. Some more shoes to kick off this run in Southport. These are an always bestseller for me. 15 into 50 every single time. The Nike Air Max Theas. And there were a few other shoes that I picked up, which I'll show you now. Right, so I just came out of that store with three more pairs of shoes. We've got the Nike Pegasus 33s here. Uh, paid $15. They should go into about $45. I've done them a number of times over the years. I thought these were nice, these Nike shoes for $18. The condition was pretty good. The size was pretty good too. Uh, not Actually, not amazing. It's a US 7. I like to play anything sort of size 8 and up when I'm talking women's wear. Um, these were a pair of Vans that I've actually gone ahead with. I didn't mind those either. Get them in the sun for you. So there it is there, $15 Vans, really good condition too. So I like the Vans brand. Um, that should go into about 45 I'm going to list that one up for. Um, it's a women's 
women's ten and a half, so a really good size. Look at that, it's a sample. Sample, not for resale, so that, that might be all right. Ultra Kush as well, that's something you want to look for. Ultra Kush vans. So yeah, anyway, four more pairs of shoes. Better keep moving. Unfortunately, it was just the one other item that I was able to find today. It was these, the Hokers. A really good brand of running shoes. Should get about 80, but it wasn't what we needed for our goal. For the rugged, for the rugged, for the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. I got a price on y'all. Snake guys or dice for y'all. Shoulders or ice for y'all. Frozen. All right, so it is Sunday morning. Just been at the footy, I've been at the races. Very hungover. But I'm just stepping out here to go to this op shop just up the road because I had breakfast and I stopped in there a second ago and I saw some really good stuff. So. This was the first thing I saw, video games. We've got Minecraft and a bunch of Call of Duty games, but the best thing about it was that I opened up, well, first of all, the Minecraft, and that was going for about $20, but it was these. There were multiple discs. There was actually four different uh, Call of Duty games, but I only had to buy two cases. So it cost me 10 bucks, but I got four games. Great result. Dollar each on the DVDs. I only found the Simpsons Season 11 here, but it does sell for $30. So one into 30, you're going to take that every single day of the week. I moved into the shoes and I found a pair of Jordans, which was fantastic. These were $25. They're the Spike 40s and they sell for about 70 to 80 on eBay. And then it was these as well. I found these, which was a pair of, um, well, a brand that I'd never heard of. It was called Axel Arigato. Now these shoes were going, I guess, high-end fashion brand type shoes. They were selling for upwards of two to three hundred dollars in pre-owned condition so i went ahead and grabbed those it was a shoe that i just thought for forty dollars let's just have a bit of a crack at it see if it sells and i'm pretty confident that we should be able to get about two hundred dollars for it which means that it will be the best find that i ever had and it was because we fell short of the uh 75 items that we needed while we we're back on the gold coast i'm taking all these home i'm listing them all up to we've only fallen 10 items short for this goal i'm still pretty happy